We're following breaking news out of Virginia Beach. That's where three kids were hurt in an early morning fire. A spokesperson for the fire department also tells us one of those kids was unresponsive when paramedics rushed them to CHKD. Two adults and a firefighter were also hurt in that fire. This all happened on Spartan Street off of Holland Drive. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us now live at the scene. And Kiana, of course, the big concern right now, the conditions of those children. Yes, Katie and Lex, we do know that two-year-old young little girl was the child that was unresponsive here after that fire. We do have the fire spokesperson here, Art Khan, here to talk with us about what exactly happened here. Now, Art Khan, could you just tell us a little bit about what we're looking at and just, just how sad this is? Well, of course it's sad any time it involves children. Now, we don't know the, the condition of those children beyond what we knew when they were transported from here. There were three kids that were removed from that trailer. The first child came as I understand it, was able to get out with her parents. There was a two-year-old and a five-year-old still inside. Okay, one of our firefighters at great personal risk because when that firefighter went into that trailer, it was already fully involved with flames. You can't imagine the intensity of the heat and the smoke. Um, he was able to get the two-year-old and pass the two-year-old out through the window. Then he went back for the five-year-old. He got the five-year-old out and just after he got the five-year-old out, a huge, what we call a uh, flashover, came out a big fireball, which the trailer was already engulfed in flames anyway. And he had to just literally dive out the window, fall a distance of about six feet to the ground just to get out alive. I, I asked the firefighter myself, I said, you know, how do you do something like that? And there was two things going for him. One was adrenaline and the other was the kid. He told me, he said, you don't think about yourself. All you're thinking about is the child. And that's what that firefighter did. And now we just have to wait and see what happens. We know the kids were uh, eventually taken to CHKD uh, where they'll be treated. Uh, the two-year-old was unresponsive, so we're really, you know, hoping for the best and praying for that child. The uh, adults were responsive when they left. They were taken to Norfolk General Hospital. But, you know, all of this right at this time of year, not that there's ever a good time for something like this to happen, but sure, it makes it especially hard now. And any time it involves children, you know, I mean, that's why our guys literally risked their life. I mean, he literally risked his life, even with the protective gear that he was wearing. When you have that kind of intense flame and smoke, it's only going to do so much for you. You only have so much time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And we do know that there are two fire investigators here on scene trying to figure out exactly what caused this fire. We also know that there were no working fire alarms inside of this mobile home. We're going to stay here and have another update for you guys in about 30 minutes. For now, in Virginia Beach, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.